Some men waste their money on gambling, other men waste their money on women, and I waste my money on this old BMW M5, and I love it so much I want to see it's working properly. And right now the sweater actuators are not working anymore, and this is how it looks, limited to 4000 RPM. Swatter actuators are what gives air to the swatter bodies and when they're not working, when, it, when the actuator's not working you get air only to the idle actuators and the car gives you a lot of errors engine malfunction, increased emissions is another problem but this is the engine malfunction error which means you have a lot less power you can barely drive the car The increased emissions is another problem I have, and uh, it's not related to the actuators. DSCs, DSC is the uh, stability control, traction control, and it's not working when the actuators don't work. I don't know why. Reduced vehicle stability under acceleration. So this is the DSC malfunction, it's not working because of the actuators. Also DBC malfunction, not working because of the actuators. Not active during emergency braking. So you get very a lot of punishments because the actuators don't work, but you can still drive the car. And the start of assistant. The vehicle may roll back and it's rolling back when you are in, the, in here and you want to pull out of a red light. You get a little bit roll back and then you will start to set off so this is what you see when if you if you have a BMW M5 the V10 and the this is the actuator the third one it's not supposed to do this what you see right now and this is a good one this is how it looks and the, this is the new ones out of the box I only had one failed actuator but I ordered two you replace two of them if you open and you're gonna go through this procedure, you might as well start with two new ones. Each one is $800. So it's $1,600 just, to re just in parts to replace them. This is a new one, genuine BMW. You, you can also get a OEM for less. But uh, this is a genuine BMW. And this is how you start to to work on them. I'm not doing the work. I went to a mechanic. The swatter actuator lives in the V inside the V. It's a V10, five on each side. It has in this this BMW M5 has the individual swatter bodies, which means for each cylinder you have a valve that opens to get air so you have five on each side and you have to uh, remove all the stuff that uh, block you from accessing those throttle actuators for example the hoses you see you need to lift them these are the ideal actuator hoses when the throttle body is closed the engine breathes through the ideal actuators and those are what those two hoses are. And here in the middle, you can see in the bottom, inside the V, this is the swatter actuator, one of them. And these are the swatter bodies, those uh, butterflies, swatter bodies. So when the swatter actuator don't work, you can't open those five on each side swatter bodies. That's what the actuator do, it opens them. And even if one of them fails, it will not open the other one. This is the failed swatter actuator. The teeth are broken, the plastic teeth are broken inside, so you see it's like loose. And we also change the oil. This engine, the S85 engine, 
takes 9.3 liters of oil, 10 W60. The oil helps uh, keep the engine lubricated and uh, cool. So it's important to change the oil every 2,000 kilometers in this car. Every 2,000 kilometers you need to change the oil. And uh, because of what you saw before, the increased emissions and the problems I have, I also hear the front wheel, you have a fuel pressure sensor. I'm going to change that. The fuel pressure sensor is right there in the electrical connection. Maybe that would help me with uh, fuel, prob fuel efficiency, fuel uh, pressure problem. Maybe the sensor is bad. And this is uh, the canister for the vapors of the fuel on, in the back wheel. We changed that also. And this is the car f going for a test drive. How beautiful this car is. The V10 M5. You gotta love this car so much to want to fix it. It's already in 2024, it's uh, 18 year old, this car. I already replaced the clutch in another video and now I'm changing the throttle actuators. And this car is 18 years old, it's not the first time uh, it was changed. And this is the canister for the fuel vapors car core canister, the old one. After I changed it, I saw much better fuel economy. I get right now six kilometers for one liter of fuel. And uh, here, let's see, I'm trying to see if, how bad is the old one. And that's the car I'm gonna check if I still have the third gear problem which I mean third gear, uh, the car accelerates fine in the first gear and the second gear when you push the pedal to the metal. But when you get to the third gear and it's trying to get to the 8000 RPM, it will not be able to. For some reason, first gear, second gear, no problem getting to 8000. Third gear is gonna go into engine malfunction. I'm gonna go in the M mode to get the full power, full 507 horsepower. And when you're driving slowly, there's no problem. You can go through all the gears and you will not see any issue. Now, let's see. No. You see, the, if you look at the rev counter, there's a red circle around it, and it's now limited to 7,000 because fuel pressure issue. So someone on YouTube gave me a comment, told me he also had this problem. And he said that to, we need to, remo to change the fuel pump controller or something like that. This is the comment, a EKP module. Thank you, I will try, this is the part, $280. And I will make another video after I replace it. And if it's interesting for you, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. And I will make another update. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.